forgot to start this vlog yesterday, but at least it means I look half decent for the opening clip. <laughs> Hi everyone, my name is Chloe, welcome back to my channel, thank you for being here today. Today is the start of a new weekly reading vlog. It is Tuesday. It is Tuesday the 8th of November. I should have started this vlog yesterday but I was on sprints and then just got too tired to film a clip at the end of the night. I started reading The Atlas Paradox and listening to the audiobook. I have got... I think four hours left of the audiobook. It feels like it's starting to get into it more now. Like it felt like at the beginning, I'm going to try and be very vague not to give spoilers of the Atlas 6. It felt like at the beginning there was an event that happens at the end of the Atlas 6 and people are left in like very particular places and it felt like the people that weren't sort of in that situation didn't really care and moved on from it a little bit and I was just a bit like why is no one concerned that this happened and it and it was a bit slow it was just like a lot of them working on their research projects it was just a lot of them working on their research projects because that's what they have to do now they're in like the second year of this society thing that they're in but but it feels like we're starting to pick up the sort of character who was particularly left in this one situation you're getting more of their point of view at the minute and I feel like the pace is starting to pick up so hopefully I'm gonna enjoy it more for the second half it's not that I've not enjoyed it for the first half I was just a bit like I feel like it should have kicked off with more of a bang but it is a middle book in a series as well so I get that there has to be a little bit of filler like because if it was the last book I'd be like excuse me can we get to this but with it being the middle book I will give it a second to like catch its breath I'm also reading I'm Glad My Mom Died by Jeanette McCurdy which is a very strange title like we have uh, we're doing a buddy read of this with Jem, Lisa and Meg and the name of our group chat on and the name of our group chat on whatsapp is literally the title of the book and it looks wrong every time a message comes through from it um it's an intense book to read like it's like she went through some pretty like awful stuff like with her mother but because of the way that it's told like from her point of view when she was a child like it's um, you you can realize you can re you can recognize it but she doesn't and it's really uncomfortable and painful to read at times but also very very interesting and I kind of don't want to stop reading like we keep getting to the end of buddy read sections and I'm like I could read more of this but I am glad that I have got people to talk to about it because it's nice to sort of dissect it afterwards um is one where you can't say that you're enjoying the reading experience but I'm definitely finding it very very interesting but right now I'm actually on Lisa's sprints I've just filmed in the first sprint hence why lighting nice nicer outfit the next clip you see me in I probably won't look like this I'm gonna go and put my hoodie back on and actually read something in the second sprint but I thought I would just give you a little bit of an update and a hello so I will catch up with you guys possibly later but most likely tomorrow hello it is Wednesday evening. I don't know the last time I actually filmed an update. I think I may have done one yesterday on sprints. Yes, it was when I was filming. Um, I didn't read much after that point. I read like a little bit more of The Atlas Paradox. I don't really have too much updates on that because I feel like my vaults are pretty much the same. Like it feels like not much is happening yet, which is weird because I'm now like halfway through. But I'm enjoying it, just not loving it as much as I love the first one. I've just finished work for the day today. I've just been in the shower, um, as you can probably tell by the white hair. I am now going to go and read buddy read pages of I'm Glad My Mom Died. Um, I do just want to listen to Next to Normal though, because Jen's listened to it for the first time today, and now I just want to listen to it, which I did do a little bit while I was in the shower, but I've turned it off because I'm going to go and actually read. Speaking of reading, I also got a gift today. Um, I had a bit of a rubbish day yesterday, I don't know if I mentioned it. And I vented to Meg on a voice note and she apparently then went onto my wish list and sent me a gift to try and cheer me up. Um, and she sent me Just Like Magic, which is by Sarah Hogle, who wrote You Deserve Each Other, which I read last earlier on this week, because it last week, it was last week. But I read that one, really loved it. I said to her, I'm like, are you just trying to make sure I've always got a Sarah Hogle book to read? Because I finished one and you sent me another one straight away. Both of the ones I've had from her now, Meg has sent me. So thank you for that. I've already said thank you, but thank you again. Um, it's a Christmas book, so I'll be reading it after birthday but right now like I said I'm gonna go and read buddy read pages that I need to read and then I will try and read some more of the Atlas Paradox today but also we're doing the watch along for newsies tonight for the readathon so we're gonna be discussing it on the discord so I won't be reading for those like two hours I'm watching that but I'm very excited I do love newsies and um, I started a watch of it a couple like about a month ago I think 
and I watched the first act and then I think like someone came home so I didn't end up watching the end of it and I just went on to like make to and I just went on to Disney Plus earlier and I saw that it was saying like continue I was like nope we're gonna go back to the beginning because we're gonna watch it from the start again but I'm very excited for it sorry there's a glare I'm gonna go because this is really bad lighting I'll talk to you guys in a bit hello super quick update because I'm in a hotel room and I'm about to leave I'm in London uh, for the weekend with my mum we're going to go and see Tammy Faye tonight and then tomorrow is good which is a play with david tennant and cabaret and then sunday is wicked i have read things i've been listening to the audiobook of the atlas paradox not loving it just feel like not very much is happening like compared to the first one it's just not that great i've been listening to the buddy read pages of i'm glad my mom died which is like i'm glad i'm reading it in chunks because it's a lot to take in um, I'll probably give you overall thoughts of that at the end of it rather than sort of where I'm at now because it's, it's weird. Like I said, it's good reading it in chunks. Um, I didn't update you yesterday. I have no reason why. Well, I do. I was out of the house for a long time. It was a long day at work. Um, but yeah, I will take you with me kind of on some of the trips that we have. We're going to the Beer to Cafe Diner today as well, so I'll try and get some clips from there. <laughs> It is now Saturday. I am not going to give you thoughts on the theatre last night because I'm going to do a full thing of that later on because I need to leave. But we are going to go to an exhibition at the VNA at the minute, which is all musical theatre costumes. And then we're going to see a play called Good with David Tennant in it this afternoon. And then tonight we're going to go and see Cabaret. So I will give you, well, I will film clips throughout the day and then I'll give you an actual update probably on Sunday night, possibly on Monday morning when I can be bothered to pick up a camera. finally got around to sorting the roots out hi it is monday now i am home um i thought i would do a quick update of the weekend um we'll start with reading updates because this is supposed to be a reading blog um have i read anything i finished i'm glad my mom died i gave it five stars it's a really weird one to rate though because it's such a personal but like it's hard to rate someone else's experience but i'm rating it five stars for the way that it was written and the way that the story was conveyed like it's a very difficult book to read i'm not going to go into like everything about it because i don't think it's a book that should necessarily be critiqued in that sort of way but i'm glad that i read it um i think it was a very interesting book to read it was very hard to read at times um 
but yeah five star read definitely i'm glad the way that we did read it as well with having the buddy read and sort of having people to talk to about it and breaking it up in sections i think it worked quite well for that book um so i finished that one i didn't finish anything else i have like 40 minutes left of the audiobook of the atlas paradox so i will read that at some point we'll see when um i'm gonna read it today basically today it's monday like i said today's my birthday um i am gonna start next week's vlog today as well so you'll see i'll talk more about like actual birthday plans and things um in the next week's vlog but um today i was i was gonna go out and um, we're gonna go to the cinema with my mom but we were just both very tired from the weekend and we've got a free day tomorrow so we'll just swap them around um so hence why the hair has been dyed today i made myself look a little bit more put together um now that i've had time i was going to do this before i went away earlier on the weekend i was going to do this last week before i went away and then just didn't have time so spent the day having a bit of a pamper and i'm now going to go and sit and probably watch a film in the house i'm going to get a takeaway tonight and i'm going to read that's basically the plan for my birthday um and then more birthday plans later on in the week it's fine that like we've not done much today because there's a lot happening this week as you probably saw i saw four shows this weekend so quick thoughts um because i am there, there will be something coming up in the near future that will be more of like overall thoughts of shows i've seen this year just a hint at um plans that are coming in december videos but i will give you thoughts on these shows in particular friday night i went to see tammy faye which is the new musical it's written by elton john and jake shears from the sisters about tammy faye baker who was a televangelist in america and it's just about sort of her life and how the her and husband set up this christian channel and then they sort of fall from grace because they ended up getting arrested for some fraud things that they would fraud for some fraudulent things that we were doing with the money but then also she became but then also she became kind of this face of christianity who was a little bit more accepting of other people and um, the, 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 the whole storyline about her um inviting a gay man with aids onto her talk show during the aids crisis and kind of being open to that when most sort of other people in when most other people in her sort of circle of friends and like other christian and things like that weren't necessarily the most receptive um because of obviously the sort of because of obviously the sort of image that this was a disease that only affected homosexuals it wasn't necessarily the most accepted amongst sort of christian groups um so it focused on that as well and sort of her being like a different voice and it was and it was actually a lot better than i expected it to be i had bios for it anyway i'd heard kind of mixed reviews about it but i was hoping i'd enjoy it especially because the cast sounded amazing i went to see it because andrew reynolds was in it andrew reynolds was in the original broadway cast of book of mormon um and he was fantastic but i think it's katie katie braben who was playing tammy Faye. she was incredible um and i'm actually going to go and see the show again in december so i'm looking forward to seeing it again um it was like i said fun there's definitely things that need changing about it if it does get like a bigger run somewhere but it was fun to i'm liking sort of seeing new things like in their early stages and see what they're like then on saturday i went to see a play I went to see good which is a play with david tennant in it it's a man who sort of slowly gets recruited to become an Nazi during like the build-up to world war Two, and him kind of going from being and, and sort of seeing how somebody can be sort of turned towards that sort of thinking because like his his only friend is his jewish neighbor and he obviously ends up supporting a group that is very much against people like that and it's just about yeah how he's sort of slowly being turned over towards that and also obviously still like a fairly important topic in this day and age as well with the rise of various different groups of people um and how sort of yeah people's minds can get changed it was very interesting um not my favorite play i've ever seen not my favorite play i've ever seen like if it got it was a little bit confusing at times because it jumped back and forth in different timelines and it was, it was just i don't know there was something that was missing a little bit the performances again were excellent obviously david tennant you would expect that going into it um but also it was elliot Elliot levy or levy i'm not sure how you pronounce it and i can't remember the woman's name and um, if i remember to i will put her name at the bottom of the screen but it was only three people on the stage for the majority of the show there was like one other person who appeared right at the end um but that was very good and then the best show i saw at the weekend was cabaret on saturday night now i saw a production of cabaret 
years ago now. Um, it had Louise Redknapp playing Sally Bowles. Uh, it was supposed to have Will Young playing the MC, but he was off the day that we went. And I very much disliked that production. Like, I've always said that I didn't enjoy it. And it's only like now I've seen this version that I realise like how much I disliked that version. Because this one we saw on Saturday was like a million times better. The whole theatre has been kind of transformed it's more of an immersive experience so you actually go in through the stage door rather than through like the main entrance and you kind of come up through the theatre and you're not allowed to use the cameras on your phones while you're in there you get given a sticker to cover up the back of your camera and it's be because like the whole thing's an experience there are people dancing around you as you go through the bars it's just like you are in the cabaret club basically and then we were sat quite high up we were on the um high we were on the sort of second tier um but the seats were still amazing because the stage is actually right in the middle of the theater like it's in the round and there's extra seats on the other side so where the stage would normally be there are extra seats and everything's done in this middle stage and yeah it was just a very very good production i can't really say i don't want to say too much about it like because i don't want to spoil things to anyone who would want to see it but it was just a very, very good production in this show. And it felt like it felt more sinister than the one that I'd seen previously. Like it had that more looming threat of again Nazis, because apparently that's the was the theme of Saturday. Um it's set in Berlin just before World War II. So yeah, it's definitely a storyline involved in the show. And yeah, I just very, very much enjoyed it. I would like to see it again actually. Um and then yesterday we went to see Wicked. Um, I did go to see Lucy Jones as Alpha and unfortunately she was not on yesterday. So I'm going to have to see it again before she leaves in March. Um, the actress, again, I do not know her name off the top of my head, um, but the actress who was playing Alphaba was the second cover and she was amazing. Apparently it's only like the 10th show or something that she's done as Alphaba during her run because second cover, basically in Wicked they have a standby, they then have a first cover and then they have a second cover. So it means that quite a few people have to be off for it to be her turn to play Alphaba. Um, but when I saw it sort of get said on twitter that she was going to be on that day there were a lot of people who were very excited and i'd heard good things about her performance before so i was excited to see it nonetheless i still enjoy wicked no matter who i'm going to see in it um was like a tiny bit disappointed i didn't get to see lucy jones but it was still a good show the only issue was that um sat in different seats than i've ever sat in before at that theater normally i end up sat in the circle and I was sat in the stalls which was like a great experience in some ways because like you're actually looking up at, at Alpha when she flies and all of like that sort of stuff like some of the effects you're sort of seeing them from a different angle and I liked that and um, unfortunately we were sat towards the side and we were very very close to a speaker and the mixing of the sound was not right at all like there were times where you couldn't really hear the singing because the sound mix was so heavily on the music rather than the vocals and it did get a little bit irritating especially when like you're struggling to hear divine gravity i'm like i kind of want to hear this one um but overall it was a good show and now i am back home and i will be out and about in London later on this week but that is for next week's vlog because I rambled a lot longer than I expected to now but yeah I just thought I would give you a wrap up of the weekend and explain all the little clips and things that you saw and that is pretty much everything thank you guys for watching please like comment subscribe all that good stuff down below and I'll see you guys next time with a new video bye <laughs>